Hi, it's Reflections, New Year's 2011. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm Nancy Joy. Uh, I've been reading a book. I got a new Kindle for Christmas, and, and I was reading a book. And, you know, they have this highlight thing in there. And I got to this one page, and there was a highlight mark. Well, it's a brand new Kindle. I didn't highlight it. And funny, I kept trying to delete the highlight mark, and I couldn't. So finally, I paid attention, and it took me on quite a journey. And this was the highlight mark. I was always searching. I was always seeking the next big thing, because that was the thing that was going to make everything all right. Well, this strikes me about all of us, certainly about me, a lot of us in our lives, and that's kind of what pushes our fo us forward is the next big horizon, the next big, big thing. But where this reminds me so much of what we're entering now with the year 2011 is, is to make everything all right. Everyone <coughs> is looking at predictions. We're all listening to, to many uh, points of view and feelings as to what uh, 2011 and the shift of 2012 and onward are going to be like. Um, and, and we're so curious. We want to know, give us something to hang on to so that will make everything all right. Well, this really is interesting because where it took me was it took me to the birthing process. As souls, we agreed to come together and create a new reality, a baby, if you will. And we are nearing now the end of nine waves, nine human months in birth, nine waves of evolution on our planet to arrive at this point of unity consciousness where the creation <clears throat> that has been in, in within for so long is now ready to be birthed. And for those of us who've given birth and the, and the men who are by our sides can attest, um, there is so much excitement. In a way, we've waited for this moment ever since we knew it was possible. You know, for some of us, ever since we knew it was possible to create a human being together and give birth, it's been something that we've been open to, excited to, wanting to learn more about. Well, the same with this birthing of unity consciousness and into the shift. We have come to this planet as souls pregnant with this creation. And we have all nourished it, fed it, studied it, read about it, awakened to it. When we awaken to the possibility that's awakening to the birthing that is, is happening. And now I feel what 2011 is about is that um, our creation is actually in, going in the birth canal. Um, and, you know, this can be a really scary time. You know, you can liken it to squeezing into a dark tunnel to get our, our creation through where it has been into where it's going to be. And that journey is different for everyone. You know, when you are actually pregnant, you read all these books, you study. Now the Internet provides so many sources. Um, but every birth is completely different from every other birth. I can certainly attest to that. I, I uh, delivered my first son 12 weeks early. 12 weeks early. I won't even go into it. What a journey. Um, but... My experience was so different from anybody else's experience I knew. And so this is how I feel it's going to be. And, and this imagery can really help us move through this time. Um, if we knew the outcome of the birth before we gave birth and that it was all going to be all right, um, it's all right no matter what happens, but the way we perceive it, all right, um, then we really wouldn't learn and grow and expand through that whole creation process, which, which is what it's about. Think of our universe. It gave birth to consciousness through a big bang, tremendous explosion. So here we are. We've created this new reality with our love, with our thoughts, with our feelings, uh, to the best that we're capable in consciousness and as souls. And we are very excited now because we're about to go into labor really. And so my point is for 2011, the one 
January 1st, 2011, 1-1-1-1. Another 11-11, another doorway. These are doorways. These are gateways. And it is during this year that we enter the gateway to the ninth and final wave of unity consciousness in March. Um, and it is during this year, 2011, that the actual Mayan calendar ends on October 28, 2011. This is definitely a doorway. Let's think of it as a birth canal. Let's think of it as um, giving birth to our new creations in consciousness, living in our hearts as much as possible. Because when you create from the living heart of God that is you, uh, your creations are beyond your wildest beliefs. So in other words, we're taking our creations out of our mind, as Drundolo says, and we're, we're creating with our hearts. And you can feel the difference because you're creating through feeling. And so we're ready to do this. We came here for this. We're ready to do this. It's an exciting time. We really don't know what our baby's going to be like, how we're going to be able to raise it, how we're going to interact with this, this new reality. We don't know, but we're going to learn. We're going to find out. We're going to grow. And so live in your heart. Be excited. Jump into 2011. Have a great, stupendous, happy new year. Whatever difficulties you're facing, um, breathe them through, breathe into your heart. This is a birthing process, and so much uh, happens in that time, which, which can be different lengths for everybody. So um, I just felt this was a great message and a great way to approach uh, this new creation. Uh, if you'd like to, we're still really looking for some more people to go with us for the open doorway and giving birth in, in Egypt on March 8th, so that trip's there, and the um, the uh, emotional healing retreat with myself, Ezekiel, and Julie Halliven on January 22nd in Iowa. Have a great and happy new year, and I'll be back again with you um, whatever that next Monday is in January. Have a great day. Bye-bye.